Welcome to the NSIC Spotlight, the voice of the NSIC student athletes, powered by GPAC. GPAC, growing people and companies. I'm your host, Nick Corner, Assistant Commissioner at the Northern Sun. Today, we are joined by the reigning NSIC Football Offensive Player of the Week, Jalen Sample of Minnesota State. Jalen, thanks for joining us on the Spotlight. Thank you for having me. All right, before we get to the Mavericks' big win at Bemidji, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, my name is Jalen Sample. I am a senior here at Minnesota State. Um, I graduated in 2020 with a bachelor in sports management, and I'm in grad school for the same thing right now. Um, I'm originally from Onalaska, Wisconsin. I've been playing football since about, you know, fifth grade. That's kind of my pops who got, who got me into it. He coached all my little league teams. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I started playing football. And how did you end up at Minnesota State? Um, it was, you know, throughout the recruiting process, I always just felt a good connection to the coaches here. And as soon as I got on campus here at Minnesota State, I mean, I could just tell that it was home. Um, the coaches, the whole team, it's like a family. And, you know, obviously it's a super successful program. Um, it's not too far from my home. So, you know, all those things kind of worked out together to make it the perfect spot. Let's get to last Thursday's showdown at number 22, Bemidji State. Mavericks come away with a 37-34 win and just a crazy contest. How would you describe, how would you start to describe that game? Uh, I would describe that game as intense as one. Um, it was a very physical game, hard fought from start to finish. Um, they never quit. We never quit. And it was just a, it was an amazing game. And like you said, a back and forth affair in the first half. BSU scores early, but a special teams play has put the Mavericks in a position to score. Talk us through the quarterback keeper to get Hayden Eckern in the end zone. Yeah, I mean, it was, we were down on the goal line and they kind of ran a keeper to the left. I saw Hayden hop over one of our fallen teammates. And I mean, that was just a great way to open up the offense for the day and just kind of get everybody settled down. Later, Eckern hits you on a combo route on the outside to tie the game at 13. Did you feel a momentum shift around this time as your defense was getting them off the field and you were able to move the ball downfield? For sure. I mean, when you can come out on the road and, you know, put up some points and you, your defense is getting stops. Um, it, it, it's always a huge momentum shift to score a touchdown. So, yeah, I mean, I, I was feeling pretty good at that point, And I feel like that was a huge momentum shift in the game. Another one of those from Elijah McGee, the NSIC Defensive Player of the Week. He was all over the field, including a huge fumble recovery for a touchdown and then a pick six in the first half. Uh, talk about the type of player McGee is. Yeah, I mean, he's a stud. He does it all the time in practice. I mean, it, it's nothing that we haven't seen before. It's just finally now that the world is getting to see. I mean, he's an All-American type player that, I mean, he makes plays for our defense and I mean he's a special guy so you're up 30 to 13 at the half what was coach Hoffner's message to you guys in the locker room at that point it was really just to keep going I mean at that point our defense had scored our offense had scored so you know we were feeling pretty good um our message was just to keep going you know playing on the road in week one you know that they're never gonna you know necessarily quit on the game so we just had to keep going and keep fighting because we knew that they were eventually gonna make some sort of comeback uh we didn't know how that would look but we just had to be ready to fight back come back they did the first 20 minutes of the second half bsu came out blazing to take a 34 30 lead but you get the ball back late and need a touchdown a big third down conversion on that drive and then you faced a fourth and 18 uh, you made the play on a crossing route. Uh, were you the main read on that play? And did you say anything to the quarterback in the huddle prior to the play? Um, on that play, I'm not 
necessarily the main read. The quarterback is just kind of dropping back and reading the whole field. Um, I didn't have to say anything special because I trust him. I trust all the receivers that we have, um, whoever he would have thrown it to, I trust would have made the same play that I did. So, I mean, I didn't say anything. I just let him drop back and make his read. And if the ball's thrown to me, you know, I like to make them right. <laughs> so you convert on that fourth down conversion. A couple of plays later, you score the game winning touchdown, uh, but it looked like you were more a defensive back on that play as it went. Um, you go in and rip the ball away from the defender. Walk us through what was going through your head. You see the ball, it was a little overthrown, um, and then you end up ripping the ball away and getting the score at the end of the game. Yeah, I mean, Mitch gave me a shot. I saw the ball going up. I um, initially, my first thought was to break it up and get us to second down where we could take another shot. Um, but uh, somehow in the mix, the ball just ended up in my hands and I, I ripped it away and I made sure to get my two feet down and that was the end. But I mean, my first instinct was yes, to just back the ball down, um, but so it, it worked out in our favor. Out and the Mavericks are one and oh, but no rest for the weary. Um, you get a long weekend, some rest, but your next opponent this Saturday is Minnesota Duluth. Uh, what do you know about the Bulldogs this season and what are the keys to a Maverick victory? Uh, the Bulldogs, I know that they are coming off a playoff run last year and they're one and oh, just like us. So, I mean, it, it, it's going to be a fight, it always is with them no matter what uh last year they got us but this year they got to come to us so uh we're we're getting ready for it and i would say we're very excited as a team to uh to show them what we got all right well that game can be seen saturday at 6 p.m from blakesley stadium or on the nsic network at north or, uh, and uh, check out the live stats at northernsun.org that's going to wrap up this week's show thanks again to our sponsor gpac jalen thanks again for joining us and best of luck to you and the mavericks the rest of the season thank you so much for having me and thanks <laughs>